Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more barrels and sea chests to your DAISY private community custom server. These two items are really good, um, almost ad hoc um, storage items that there's quite a few barrels knocking around the um, knocking around the map but there's not that many sea chests so let's look at how you can add some more in. Um, so I'm going to be using the Nitrado uh, servers as the example in this particular video. You could well be using a different um, server host um, and uh, I'm going to be accessing it via the web interface here so we click on this. You may well access your server via FTP as well and then this takes me into the dashboard for this PlayStation server. Come down here to the bottom left where it says file browser. We click on that. Now we have access to the file structure within the browser. Um, if you're on PC, you've actually got to dig down a little bit further before you get to the missions folder. Come down a couple of levels, but when we click on this, you're going to see a number of things. It's either going to say Chernerus Plus, or it might say Enoch, or it might say both. Enoch is Livonia. Um, and just bear in mind what map the server is currently running, and then click on that particular mission file. So this one runs Cherner, so we run on that one. And the file we're interested in is the types.xml, which is in the DB folder here. So we click on that, and then we download the uh, types file there. So you click on that, and you would download it. Now once you've downloaded it, make sure you make a copy. That way if you make a mistake and you can't recover the error, you can just uh, revert back to the original and then start again. And then you need to open it in your favorite text editor. You could use Notepad. However, I recommend Notepad++. It's free to download. It's a really powerful text editor and it color codes stuff. So if you make a mistake, you can you can easily see it. So let's start, so we'll start off, Control F, we'll start off with the C chest. So it's S-E-A-C-H-E-S-T with no gap. And there we go. So there's the there's the C chest. So normally on a vanilla server, as of October 2020, Daisy will spawn in 20 C chests over the map. Um, it will restart respawning them in when that number gets down to 10, um, and it will count them on the map. So if they're sitting on the map, it will count them. And if a player's got one in their hand, I don't know whether you can fit one in your backpack, but it will count it. Um, and you'll find them, they're clusters at all, and you'll find them in, in industrial areas, farm areas, coastal areas, and hunting areas where you would find tools. So that's pretty good. It's found in quite a few places then, but I think, you know, let's add some more. So let's say one of the big problems when you first start off playing Daisy, well, and all the way through, is when you're a fresh spawn without a base, is, is finding some way of storing the loot that you find. Um, and sea chests are a really good way of doing that. I like the fact that they're fairly plain as well. So if you take a sea chest into some woods, you can hide it in a bush and something fairly simply. So let's double the number of number of sea chests. So let's take it up to 40. And let's change this minimum up to 30. And let's only count them on the map. Let's not count them on players. So let's change that flag to zero, which means no. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave them where they are because four places industrial areas farm places coast and hunting players that's quite a few different places isn't it to find these things i don't think we need to add any more uh, location usage tags to to the sea chest um this way you know we've doubled it now remember when we're adding things like we've added another sea chest really should go into the rest of your types like xml and um, remove 20 other items that aren't of use maybe like the uh, the builder's hard hats or things like the cropped hiking shorts all that sort of stuff so that's the sea chest done. So now let's have a look at the barrels. So let's do a control F. Oop. And let's look for barrel. Now there's a few different types of barrels, as you'll see. Now these ones with holes. <laughs> so what you can do is you can punch holes in the sea chest with a screwdriver and a, or a knife, I think, things like that. And you can turn it into a fire barrel. But these don't spawn on the map. All right? It's something you have to craft. See it down here, it says crafted. Um, but what we want to do is we want to scroll down till we get to the ones that have just have plain names. So barrel blue. So we've got barrel blue, barrel green, barrel red, barrel yellow, and that's it. So what we're going to do, we're going to increase these a little bit. There's, there's quite a few barrel, barrels on that. I think it's fairly easy to find barrels in Daisy. But we're going to, let's just whack it up to 
to 50 um, and let's increase the minimum to 40 um, and what we'll do let's turn this flag to zero so we're only going to find them when they're on the map like that and as you can see they're classed as a tool they're found on the floor in industrial and farm areas now when, when you see things like industrial and farm you think oh it's only on farms and there's lots of things in daisy that are classed as a farm area that aren't actually um in farm areas or industrial areas that aren't in in farm areas. so what i mean by that is um, for example in a town there may be, there's lots of shacks and lots of sheds and quite a few of those sheds are classed as industrial areas industrial things even though the, the overall area is within a town that little bit is an industrial area so what we could do actually is we could change we could add another usage area to the barrels you know just to make it slightly easier to find so if we go over and let's have a look at the um, uh, the different tags we could use so coast farm firefighter hunting industrial medic military office police prison school town and village so what we could do is we could add village to this as well so if we copy village Um, here we go and then we go actually we don't want to copy village yet if we just copy this usage name and then we click on farm and we go back and we type village over the top so although we've added another 10 barrel blues we've we've given them somewhere else to spawn as well so they'll spawn in villages where you would find tools as well as well as industrial farm or village now what we can do now rather than having to type the same thing for all the different types of barrels if we just copy everything from the type up to nominal and then we go down and just paste that over the top paste that over the top Paste that over the top. There we go. We've done the same for all the barrels. So, what the bar barrel green, red, yellow, and there was blue, wasn't there? So we've added another forty barrels to the map. We've also made sure that they're only counted on the map, and we've added another place for them to spawn. So they're kind of spread out a little bit more, so it should be easy to find them, so that you can then use them as a base for starting, using as so some storage to, to start uh, start a new base. Now make sure you save that, and then what I always recommend you do is you go over somewhere like um, XML Validator, somewhere like XMLvalidation.com and upload your new types to XML just to see if you've made any mistakes. Um, just bear in mind that some files, specifically like the spawnable types.xml file, do have a like a false error in. It is an XML error, but Daisy doesn't um, isn't affected by it. That's the ones that within the comments, there's like an army comment where Bohemia Interactive put too many hyphens in, but you can ignore that. And once you're happy that you validate it, then go back to your server, stop the server, upload the new types.xml by clicking on that button then restart the server and then your new oil barrels and your new sea chests will start to spawn in um, and your players will have a lot more opportunities to store that valuable loot that they've been collecting as they wander around the map okay that's enough from me if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon